Are good? Okay. So my whole idea, or I teach voice, and I'm teaching um, within voice phonetics. And phonetics is all about speech sounds. Uh, the next stage, or what I'm planning to teach in a couple of weeks, is the difference between monophones, which is a single sound, and diphthongs, which is basically two single sounds put together. And the students tend to have, uh, they find it quite challenging to understand what a diphthong is and how to identify that particular sound. So we kind of explored around and I was trying to figure out like what kind of fun way or fun activity can I get for the students to engage them into creating this kind of sound or understanding the concept. So there's two different things they have to, or there's a couple of things, they have to know what symbols to use to write the sound and they also have to know how to recognise the sound and then to actually say the sound. So I found a game called uh, Snakes and Ladders, a classic. <laughs> Um, and I've kind of, I'm going to adapt it slightly, but I've just briefly adapted it for now for these purposes um, of the presentation. So this is one symbol, which is O, oh, and this is another symbol, which is I, an I sound. And when you put the two sounds together, as you can see, it's a snake and it will travel in a particular way, so you can get the ball and run the ball along <laughs> there, so that the sound will show that it's traveling from one sound to another. So you've got OI which is a diphthong, so oi, as in boy, toy, roy, and it's a, it's a way to get them to start speaking in their RP accent. That's essentially our ultimate goal, is to get them realising how to differentiate between the different sounds, um, but it's also a fun activity, and they can explore it in different ways. So eventually what I will do is have sounds spread out across the snakes and ladder board, and then they will be able to know all the diphthongs. And there's only eight, so it won't take too long, maybe. And that's it.